Hello, my friends. 여러분 안녕하세요. If you are watching this video, it means you are interested in learning Korean. This video is about Korean alphabet. That's right. It's the basic of basic in learning Korean. The name of Korean alphabet is Hangul. Han means big or great. When we say the name Hanguk or Dehanminguk for Korea, those Han also mean the same. Kul is a writing system or writings. Unlike most familiar alphabets, Korean alphabet is quite different shape. So for you who feel like, oh, I don't know which one is which, I categorize consonants by the place of articulation instead of arranging them in the order from the textbooks. The first bundle I'll walk you through today is four consonants that are making lip sounds. They are miyum, piyup, sangbiyup, and piyup. Once again, miyum, piyup, sangbiyup, and piyup. The words inside the parenthesis are each one's name. Here you see my face and let's say you have an x-ray vision so you can see through the inside of my cheek and mouth. These are my lips. They are my front teeth, upper ones and the bottom ones. It is my tongue and the behind of upper front teeth there is this area so called alveolar and this is the roof of the mouth slash hard palate and this back side here is the soft palate. Today's consonants are created on the lips area. Most of you won't have any problem with the mium, piup, and piup. They are more or less similar to M sound, B sound, and P sound. Mium sounds like mom, music, mind, and is perfectly the same with M in English. Piup sounds like boy, bus, by. But Korean beep is a little bit in between sound of a b and p in English. So I'm giving you a heads up. It may sound like p as well as b. Unlike the other three consonants, this third one, sangbyuk, can be a little bit challenging. First of all, it doesn't have its sound value in its name. If you are a super beginner, you may not understand what am I talking about right now, but it's okay. You will learn and know it soon. Second, depending on your first language, you may not even notice the sound of it. If you are an English speaker, you can hear the sound from the words such as spot, space, and special. Don't be obsessed with spelling. Focus on the sound. The P sound right after S makes this B sound in English. Try to remember this consonant as a special sound because it truly is. The last one, pip, sounds like pot, party, and pop. It's an explosive sound and exactly the same as P in English. Now you know these four Korean consonants and tell their sounds. I'll coming back with the next bundle. See you then. Bye.